Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will take a look at the latest from Samsung and this is called Collection. It's a way that you're able to clip and collect text, images, websites, and more. And then you can use AI to analyze and organize your collection into an easy to search knowledgeable base. So anytime that you take a screenshot or a copy and paste of some type of text, it'll all go to one central location. As for the AI piece of this, where you're able to analyze it and organize it, this will be put into your quick settings. And this is called intelligent drag and drop. Now, when it comes down to these two features that I'm showing you here, which is the intelligent drag and drop, and as well as collection, which will soon be a part of your advanced features, you have to wait for this thing to fully be launched in the United States. So first off, let me show you where it would be. Once you have it, it'll be inside of your advanced features right there underneath Bixby. So this just means that Samsung is now finally able to have a whole collection area that is all central that's able to use AI with it. One disclaimer about this is because we are downloading the APK, it is fully launched in China, but it's not fully launched here in the United States and several other regions. Hopefully soon we'll be able to see the fully launched version of collections and intelligent drag and drop. So where you're able to get this downloaded and installed is you can just Google search Samsung Collections APK. Then you can head right up over here. I first read about it from Sam Mobile, but I wanted to go to the source. So it's right here from Twitter from Galaxy Techie. So once you tap on Galaxy Techie, if you have Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, search for Galaxy Techie. You'll be able to find this right over here. And this is where he shares from uh, the Google Drive. So this is where you're able to just install it. I always use the regular Samsung installer package right there. Now that it's installed, what you wanna do is head right over into your settings. Then you scroll down and this is where you take a look at your advanced features. And then now collection has been added. This is where you can add in that shortcut. So this page really only just tells you what the application is for. You can turn on the shortcut. You also have permissions, which a lot of these right here, just it makes sense in order for you to combine and bring together a lot of things such as, you know, file access and even your phone. So it's a way that you're able to prevent AI from talking aloud during phone calls. Also, uh, you just have the contact us and then also about collection. So now that you turned on your shortcut, this will now be inside of your application tray and it's sitting right there. Now, the other thing that this comes with is the intelligent drag and drop. So this is where you want to go and you tap on that little edit. Then you tap on edit again, swipe right on over to your last page. This is where you have it. And then you just hit on done. And when this is all finished, that means that you'll be able to do the intelligent drag and drop and you're able to see which applications works with it, services and the sidebar. So intelligent drag and drop is an intelligent interaction system that lets you seamlessly drag and share content. Now, here's the thing I'll let you know right now, when it comes down to Samsung One UI 7, which is this one right here, this feature works on Samsung One UI 8, this one does not work. So if you have One UI 7 or One UI 8, some of these features will either work for you or they won't. They're basically kind of flip-flopped on what actually works. So this is a way that you're able to clip and collect text, images, websites, and more. So right over here, if I take a look at my collections, you can see that I have a bunch of these ones here. I got Chrome, I've got my Keep Notes, which this one was just regular text. These ones over here were screenshots and then some images and some other stuff that I took away from pictures inside of my gallery. So this is where you just go right over here, hit on uh, get going, allow collection to use network connections for your app list, audio, video, and images. Cause again, it's gonna, you know, uh, collect all of these all in one spot. Now the next step is how are you able to add anything to your collection? So if it's images or text, whatever it may be, all you'd have to do is take a screenshot of something or find some text and you can do a copy and paste. So anytime that you have something that you would like to share, this is where you tap on the share button. And let's say we want to do this one as an image. Now down over here, this is where you'll find the option for collection. It's going to add it right over to a collection and then I can also view it. Now let's state that we want to do the other thing. So from here, let's say that maybe I just want to do the web link. So in this way you can see a couple options here. Now collection is sitting right there because it's one that was just chosen. If we want to, we can head right over inside and we can take a look at it. Now this right here, this is going to be just a screenshot. This is the text from the gallery. This one is the image from the gallery. Now looking at this page right here, let's say that we take a look at a couple differences between what features work and what features don't. Here's One UI 7, here's One UI 8. Now this one, I'm able to have the option for summary, but I will let you know, even though it shows me that it can work, 
it doesn't because now we're just waiting for an update. So you can see how some of these will kind of differ on which features will work. And now that it's sitting inside of your collections, you can go right there, you can tap on this, and you can go right there to Amazon Shopping, and it's gonna take you directly over into the case, which is actually just this one right here that I'm using on my Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now let's take a look at that AI feature over here where you can do that whole intelligent drag and drop. Now you can either put it on the left or you can put it on the right. Wherever you want this little tab to go, that's where it will be. Well, if I press and hold here and I try to bring it over here to bring it into that whole drag and drop, it just kind of uh, closes my application. So on One UI 8, this feature does not work yet which is why I have One UI 7 over here. I can do this press and hold, and here is that whole sidebar. So you can have it on the left or the right. You can put it over into collection. You can put it into Gemini. You can add a new note, reminder. You have your drawing assist and search image. So let's say that we just bring this one right up over into Gemini. Now for this one, I'm just gonna say, um, what do you see? So just curious, you know, again, this is just, this could be a regular image, could be anything that you want it to be. This is just a screenshot that I took from Twitter. And it just says right here that it's from Twitter, Samsung user satisfaction survey, blah, blah, blah. Now it's talking about the second post is by Galaxy Techie and where he's sharing the APK file for collection and intelligent drag and drop. So this is where you're able to use some of the features for drag and drop and also using AI. To give a couple more examples of how this all works, when you take a look at something, you take a screenshot of it, you head right over into share and then you go right over into collections and now it's moved over into the collections application. Now, let's say that we wanna you know, see exactly what it looks like on the inside of here. Looks like we have all, we have Chrome, we have Keep Notes, we have Capture, and then we have another Capture. So it looks like Samsung Capture, this is where it'll, it'll mention Samsung Capture if it's not able to say, let's say, you know, Gmail. Now let's say that maybe you wanted to grab over some text and now to show off how you're able to do text again, let's say for some reason you need to have this, when you look at some text right over here, you just go to share, and then again, you just go to collections. So anytime that you wanna add into your collections and you want to put it all into one place, you just have to do the share option. And it's gonna be sitting right inside of here and it's gonna show you the latest. So you can see it's all time stamped. So this is the earliest, this was the latest one we did. Then you have your Chrome, here is Google, because we also use you know Google just now. Here's your Keep Notes, Samsung Capture, and Gallery. So everything will all be completely separated for you in all of these different categories. Now going back to this text right up over here, you also have this option there, where it, which it's able to read aloud. HTTPS colon slash slash X com slash Galaxy Techie slash step. So if you had a longer paragraph or something that was going on and you wanted to listen to it, this is where you're able to listen to it. I believe over here on the Samsung One UI 8, this feature right here does not work. So there are a few things, again, mentioning that it, it'll work here, but then it won't work here. And sometimes you have something that will work here, but it doesn't work here. So I will state that this one's mostly made for Samsung One UI 7 more than One UI 8 currently. We just need to have another update to this application. And again, whenever this one fully launches across all of the countries, all this is going to do is sit right inside of your settings. It's going to be right inside of your advanced features underneath Bixby right there called collection. And again, don't forget to turn on the option for your intelligent drag and drop. Now, again, when it comes down to drag and drop, you might be wondering what all applications work with this. So if you press and hold on it long ways, you're able to take a look at the supported applications. You have Gallery, which I, we, we uh, recently used Gallery in X. You have AR Doodle, Assistant, uh, Calendar. I mean, literally almost any single thing that is on your phone, it will work with those applications. You also have services and sidebar. Now there is a much more services there in China than there is here. So we just have to wait for it to work. You can see it looks like there's TikTok that's sitting right over there. A lot of these applications, I'm sure most of these we don't really use here, um, but we would have American or any other country you're a part of, anything that's big right over there, I'm sure those will be a part of this list here in terms of services. And then this is where you can change the left or right. I believe if you move it to the left, it crashes. So I know for sure on One UI 8, if you just move it to the left, it'll crash. Just like when I'm trying to bring something to the right, it crashes. Looks like this one, it'll it'll work on the left or the right hand side. So that is everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. Again, if you are looking for this APK, uh, I can place the link 
that'll take you directly to the source. So you don't have to do all of this stuff here, which is going to be Galaxy Techie when it comes down over into Twitter. Now, if you don't use Twitter for some reason uh, and you would rather like to use something else, then I can also place the link for Sam Mobile, which again, this is where I got this information. So I'm going to give my two sources. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.